a7 III. I guess you can say that this is the camera that started everything here on YouTube. And um, it's something that I'm super grateful of and something that I never could have really imagined because when I started this out, I was working at a job that I didn't like and I had no idea what to expect if anything went well because I didn't dare to hope that everything would go well. But I was sitting here in the office today and like kind of reflecting on where I'm at right now and how the journey has been so far and how quickly everything has passed by. It's almost like I haven't been able to experience it because I've been so engulfed into creating content and push that out to you so that you can enjoy and we can grow together. That has been like my main focus ever since the Poker Bee World happened a while back. And as I was thinking about this, I also thought about like all of you that are just in the beginning of your career, you know, you just picked up your first camera or you, you just saved up enough money to buy that one lens that you've been waiting to buy for such a long time. And I was sorting out a couple of videos the other day and seeing some of my old stuff that I did when I first started my freelancing business. And that is also when I bought this camera because the only reason that I actually bought this camera was because my Sony a7R III broke on me. Like the, the microphone input kind of broke down and uh, I had three planned gigs that I needed, needed to do to be able to make a living. And I was like, all right, I gonna send this off to repair. How long is it gonna take? And they were like, yeah, you know, it's gonna take six to eight weeks, so uh, you have to wait for And I was like, no way. I said like, okay, send it off to repair and I wanna buy a new camera. Like, I wanna buy the Sony a7 III because I heard it's similar to the a7R III. He was like, yeah, it is. Are, are you sure you're gonna buy a new camera? Because like, this, you, you're just sending off this one to repair. And I'm like, yeah, do you have like, you have like credit I can buy it on maybe like 12 months, no no interest. And they were like, yeah, we do. You can apply for it right here. And then I applied for it. Then I was like, man, am I really gonna do this? Because this is a lot of money. Like it's a lot of money and I really need these jobs to fall into place. And after I was done with the jobs, I was like, am I going to sell the camera or am I going to keep it? And then it kind of like occurred to me that I can make a comparison video of this, upload that onto YouTube towards the a7R 3 and I can actually keep it as my B camera because it paid itself off with the gigs that I did and I also generated more gigs that I could do later on. And looking back at like the whole freelancing career that I've done and this that we're doing right here and YouTube and all that, I think that this piece of equipment right here has been the absolute best investment that I've done. I got to learn this camera inside out. Like I, I tweaked the settings to fit my style of shooting. I learned how to shoot action stuff. I learned how to shoot B-roll with it. I learned how to shoot handheld. I also learned like how to use manual focus, focus peaking and all that stuff. And I still remember the feeling when I took my time off from day, day, blah, 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 daytime job. In the beginning of 2019, it like it might have seen on Instagram that I was like doing well and I got a lot of jobs, but I actually didn't. I was literally walking from week to week, not month to month, like week to week, thinking, am I going to be able to make a living from this because I, I, I can't afford stuff. I couldn't afford this, I couldn't afford that. And then I also had my office space that I rent together with a buddy mid 2018. The stress that I had during that period of time was so intense. But something that I learned from that time was like the hunger that you get when you really, really, really want to do something. And I've talked about this before, but I do think that everyone has like a surge where you can like channelize, do you say that, channelize? Channel all your energy that you have left into one like majestic thing that you can accomplish. And I think that that is exactly what I did in 2019. What I did was that I set up a goal for myself to go out, shoot each and every sunset that I could and sunrise for the entirety of February and March. And then I also set a goal for myself to start uploading like frequently to YouTube at least like two times a week. By doing so, I also learned so much about the gear that I was using and how to get the best possible footage out of the cameras that I was using as well. Even though I haven't gone to film school, I haven't studied 
or anything. Like I, I dropped out of school when I was 15 years old. When I'm doing something that I really enjoy doing, that, that is when I wanna keep doing that forever. And if you are in that position yourself and you're thinking like, I really wanna do this. I really wanna do what Peter does or I really wanna do uh, something else. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If you are thinking about that, then invest every single minute that you can spare into creating the future that you want to have. Damn, that was a deep one. And even though the a7 III has been like such a good companion to me, I, I am going to say goodbye to this because I'm going to sell it. And uh, it's always going to have a special place in my heart. But now it's time for it to go. I just want to finish this video up by saying huge thank you to each and every one of you that are here, that has been here, that constantly supports me in my endeavors and makes this possible for me because it's still surreal. I probably will never get it. And uh, I'm super grateful that I'm able to do this. And there's so much in the pipes that I would love to share with you, but it's coming eventually. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, take care and don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. You know it. Have a good one. I'm gonna sip on my cup of coffee. Hello. So klart. Vi glömde ju knäppen va?